good afternoon from the Epcot parking lot we are headed in today because we've got two hours. I had two hours before I need to go and pick up Jackson from school. So I was excited to see like, what can we do in two hours? I did get Lightning Lane for today. I already have one booked and that is for Journey into Imagination featuring Figment, but I'm gonna try to stack it. Like right now I've got like 10 more minutes and then I can book another one. And then once I tap in for Figment, I think I can book another one. We'll keep you guys posted on that, but I definitely will be able to book another one after I tap in for the next one. So I'm gonna try to get in as many rides as I can within two hours. It's a challenge. We'll see how many we can get. Let's get inside. Should we count the tram as our first ride of the day? I'm gonna get on real quick. Para su seguridad, favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo sus manos, brazos. All right, that's perfect timing for me. We are walking in at 12:20, which is the time that I can make another lightning lane. So we're gonna make one right now. All right, here it is. This is what we've got so far: Journey into Imagination, and then Living with the Land. So let's go do it. Let's go get on Journey into Imagination. All right, so we've made it past Spaceship Earth, and we're into World Celebration now. But we're gonna make a right here towards Journey of Water and head over to Figment. I don't think I ever realized this, but Moana's meet and greet is just outside of the Journey of Water. I thought she would have been inside, but I guess they moved her outside. So yeah, we're over here. This is the seas with Nemo and friends, the land, and then we're going over to Journey into Imagination. And I think these are the three that we're gonna do kind of right now. We're gonna do Journey into Imagination. We got a fast pass for the land, and then I'll try to make one for the seas with Nemo and friends. Here we go. We're walking up to Journey into Imagination. Looks like it's not too long of a line, 10 minutes, but we should be able to just walk right on with our lightning lane. Yeah, lightning lane, walking right in, into the Imagination Institute. I thought the door wasn't gonna open. We're doing it. Our very first ride of the day, or second if you count the tram. So now I have to wait until 125, or until I scan in at Living with the Land to make my next lightning lane. Here we go. See, even Nigel Channing smiles the same way that I do. Makes me feel good about my smile. Welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On there your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Yes, you Absolutely can, Figment. Not. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's about listening with your imagination. I feel like I've never seen this, like, lighting effect happen in here before. We see with Is this new? One of the light. Can like your fancy, to remind you so than what your eyes see. Ooh. The Pew pressure gauge. Oh no, skunk. Oh, brother. Oh, we are winners. Don't. Oh, gross. Great idea. We'll go to my open house instead. It's much more fun. You've tied the entire open house upside down. Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. Imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast. Ah. Oh, look at that, quick change. The sky's the limit. There it is. Of all creation, right at the start of everything is new. I like this ending too. I feel like this ending slept on. It's cool because like you see all the stars, and then it just turns on and we're just at the exit to the ride. Coming through the dream port on the way out. Never seen this. You can hear him laughing. Oh, there he is. Look at him coming flying out. Ta-da! How's it going? Doing good, I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, it was good to see you. Oh, we love you too. So from Journey into Imagination, we're headed in this direction and we're just going to live in with the land. It's right there. All right, here we are, we're heading into the land. I tried to get a Soarin' Lightning Lane, but they were a little bit later today, like 4.30 in the afternoon. So when you first walk into the land, there's a lot of stuff in here actually. So Garden Grill is a character restaurant. It actually spins very slowly. So you, you will get a good view. You like get a view into the land. By the way, speaking of living with the land, you get a good view into living with the land and then you can look down here to living with the land. That's where we're headed to right now. And then over here is Soren. And then directly below me is another quick service restaurant called Sunshine Seasons. As we pass by Awesome Planet, there is a carpeted wall in here. Carpet walls have been in the Epcot like lore for a very long time. And these are in particular are supposed to be seeds, I think, blowing in the wind, but you can use your imagination. What we've always thought they look like. And now we are headed down the escalator to living with the land. And then as soon as we tap in there, we'll make our next lightning lane reservation. And right onto it, 
strangely enough, right now, Living at the Land smells like the cue to E.T. And if you're a fan of Universal, that's a, a very memorable scent, and a lot of people really like it. My only concern now is that this one's going to take a little bit of time to get through, so it's taking up some of our some of our two hours. But I like the ride, so I'm happy to ride it. Even, Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo, buffalo help create a rich soil. One day become home to the American farm. Okay, if you remember back to when we were talking about the Garden Grill, there it is right up there. You can see people, and you can look into this house right here. Look down on oh, the chickens and living with the land. So we need the production research center. Just ahead to help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems. Oh, these pineapples are getting ready to start growing. Look at that. This is what I need right here. I'm starting trying to grow a papaya tree in my backyard. Maybe one day we'll have papayas that we can eat. I wonder if I should try to grow a banana tree too. Look at this thing. A lot of bananas. Do you ever wonder what a tilapia looks like? Hybrid bass. I don't know if I've ever like seen bass on a menu anywhere. Like sea bass, yeah, but not like freshwater bass. Oh, hidden Mickey. Is it really hidden though? This shrimp is gigantic. Look at the size of this thing. Some tomato back here, but also it looks like scotch bonnets maybe? Some of the sunflowers look nice. Oh, look at this huge tomato tree. This one, they like just cut one down recently. This side. And they just replanted it. Alright, we're two rides in. We're going over to the Seas with Nemo and Friends. We're just gonna keep going. It's like 110 now though, so we're all running out of time. But we're still moving. So as we make it out of the land, turning to our left and heading over to the seas. We are definitely gonna be saving time with the lightning lane on this one because this is a 20 minute wait for the Seas with Nemo and Friends. We're heading right in through the lightning lane. I do love the queue of the Seas with Nemo and Friends. Like there's a bottom of a boat right here. Like a little buoy, an anchor over there, a little ladder coming down. Somebody's probably gonna go scuba diving. Little lights around the boat that make it look like little ripples coming out from it. It's a little detail. There it is, ride number three. Not bad, if you count the tram ride number four, but we're on ride number three right now. So I already made a fast pass for Spaceship Earth, so that's what's coming up next. We're doing pretty good, I feel like. Like two rides, well, I think we're gonna make it through like five rides. Maybe, maybe one more, I don't know, we'll find out. There he is, there's Nemo. Nemo's literally right there. How does nobody see him? He's not. He's right here. Oh no, jellyfish. Jellyfish. Oh, jellyfish. I like this scene because there should be. Yeah, look at this. It's like a physical thing too. It's like attached to a cuckoo. Let's see if oh, it just stopped working. There it goes. I always wondered if like these numbers or anything meant anything. They should, right? Oh, careful with the shark right here. Easy there, Bruce. Oh, the kitchen sink. Oh, we're heading into the EAC. Where are they? There they are. Oh, go ahead, Nemo. Oh god, the mini marlin. I always really like this, how this is like the actual aquarium. And there's a projections in front of it on the glass. Like it's such a neat idea. And the song is really good too. Oh, there's a hidden Mickey down there. Do you guys see it? Oh, as we head out into the actual seas, the aquarium section, there is a Dory's Friends Fantastic Scavenger Hunt. This is fun. Some like little activities to do in here. And a free thing, it looks like you can get some I thought there were stickers. Are they stickers? They are stickers. Some free stickers in there. That's nice. I'm gonna bring this home to Jackson. Oh, huh. Fun little activity book. This is something that I like to show on the way out because the American Society of Civil Engineers gave the Living Seas a plaque in 1987 for an achievement of merit. And I think that that's because this is a gigantic aquarium. And so that's what this is all about. Yeah, and they have all of these organizations and people that help with the fact verification, planning, and research. So back out of the seas at the front, and now we're headed up to Spaceship Earth, which is the gigantic geodesic ball that is at the front of Epcot. Also, it really is a beautiful day here at Epcot. Look at this. So 
Looks like we're saving a little bit of time here at Spaceship Earth too. We got a 25 minute wait. We're heading in through Lightning Lane. And then we're walking right on to Spaceship Earth. And I've already made my next pass, my next uh, Lightning Lane for Mission Space. Not my favorite ride, but it is one. And then we'll try to get on Three Caballeros right at the end, like right before we leave. We'll see if we can do it. I might go do Three Caballeros first and then hit Mission Space on the way out. Now yeah, we're doing it. We're on our fourth ride already. And it's only, it's 135, so time is ticking away. Be careful, guys. That's a woolly mammoth. You guys just have sticks. What are you gonna do? You gonna throw something at it? They got a rock? Oh, oh, here he goes. Throwing a rock at that woolly mammoth. He missed. That was terrible. Well, actually, it kind of looked like the woolly mammoth caught it. And then was like, haha, I'll show you. And then there's the story of it right there. We threw a rock at it and it caught it. It was amazing. This is the smartest woolly mammoth I've ever seen in my life. He's not unknown. His name is Steve. There he is. We love you, Steve. You'll be known always for and forever in our heart. Here's what I don't get. This is the Phoenicians, right? They're like doing their thing, thank the Phoenicians type stuff. But like, why, how are there lights over here? There's, there's no electricity. These all just like, it should be flickering, right? From fire? Mathematics. It's so intriguing. Yeah. Oh no. Alexandria. Why did somebody burn it? Aha. Backup text. You guys did it. Nice work. How do you guys? Yeah, look at him. He's reading these books. Who reads a book like this? He's like looking at it like he's holding them. Something he's never seen before. Endlessly. Toiling endlessly. Gutenberg. Let's talk. You really do need to like, you could probably just like do some walking or something, right? Just get some calf muscles going. That's all you need. I always heard an interesting story about this. So originally his hand was supposed to be on the tapper tapping out, but then it, like the motors didn't quite work and it looked like he was more writing. So they just put a pencil in his hand and made it look like he was writing. Mousetrap. Yeah, pretty wild that the last time we were on the moon was so long ago. I feel like this is not really what computer labs look like. There weren't so many flashing lights. Like, yeah, sure, the lights flashed, but they weren't this wild, right? It seems like something's going wrong. Another interesting section, because there are, like, different scenes that are still here from previous iterations of this ride. They just don't light them. They just never took them out. rotating backwards. Let's see how we did. Oh, there I am. There's me. There's like twins. How did I get a twin brother? Wow. Danger. That's where we're headed to. On our jetpack snowboards off a cliff. Look at me. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, no. Twin number two. Oh, we both broke our legs. Oh, no. I broke my arm. Oh, brother. I was pretty happy about this broken arm. Oh, robot dog's gonna come and get me? He just bites my arm off. Well, that's my health card. What? This seems fantastical. That's me. Look at us both, drinking hot chocolate. Yeah, I'm gonna go... Oh, not yet. Not yet. You weren't totally healed yet. Look at me. You can tell that I love danger. All right, there it is. That was our fourth ride. We've got about 10 minutes, seven minutes. You think I can make it over to Mexico to ride three Caballeros? I don't know. Might just have to call it a day at four rides. It's, it'll take me seven minutes just to get to three Caballeros and it's a 10 minute wait or a five minute wait out there. So I think we've reached our limit, at least for our little two hour wait. By the way, I know that it's been a minute since we've talked about Instagram walls, but if anybody's ever looking for the bubblegum wall, this is it right here, just outside the exit of Project Tomorrow, which is the uh, exhibit at the end of Spaceship Earth. 
just right near Connections, Creations, and uh, not what is it called, World Discovery. All right, so it, well, we did get here a little bit after noon, like around 1220 is when we walked in the gates. Uh, I feel like we got a lot accomplished in the like hour and 50 minutes that we had here. Like, I think we did pretty good. Four rides in that time, like a ride every half an hour. And we did ride some pretty long rides. We rode Living at the Land. I mean, that was really it. That was the longest ride that we rode. I feel like maybe Spaceship Earth is pretty long. But it was a good time. I'm glad that we got out here and we did it. I feel like we could try to beat this on another occasion. We'll try to do better. We'll try to even get it a little bit faster. Did also want to mention that Lightning Lane was $19 today for just Epcot. It was like $27 for all of the parks and even $27 for Magic Kingdom. So I'm glad that we picked Epcot and we were able to get it for at least less than some of the other parks. $19 is still expensive, but it was a better deal than say going to Magic Kingdom. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. I'm glad we came out here. We did this little challenge. And like I said before, we are going to be coming back and trying again and again to try to beat it, try to get five rides in, try to get six rides in. We'll start running. We'll be running around the park. We'll try it at different parks too. Uh, we just happened to pick Epcot today because the wait times were short when we were leaving the house. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.